Hey everybody, it's Dr. Green the Road Scholar coming back at y'all. This is my workout video part two. Actually, it should have been part one, but I already put part one up. But this is for all the people who are just getting back into the gym, just starting to work out again and everything, and you don't really know how to get started, or you're kind of reluctant to get started. You don't really like going to the gym because you're afraid the way you dress is different from the way all these, uh, what I call, uh, wannabe models dressing. Guys, it doesn't matter. Planet Fitness, that's what I like about them. They got the no judgment zone and everything. No one's gonna make fun of you about the way you dress. No one's looking at you, laughing at you up here. Everyone up at Planet Fitness seems to have pretty much the same uh, goal, which is to get in better shape and work out and stuff. So that's the reason I come up here and, and I work out with a lot of people. A lot of people dress just like me. Some people dress up in all that gym stuff and everything, but not very many. And if you want to, that's great. That's fine and everything. I prefer to wear loose bag clothes today. I forgot my sweatshirt at home by a hoodie. So I won't be wearing it. Normally I wear that during my entire workout, but I won't be doing that today. And um, I had a lot of people tell me, you know, ask me you know, how much weight I've lost and, and you know, how, what kind of foods do I eat and everything. So I guess I need to get a little bit more in depth of this. First of all, I'm not really doing this to get into any kind of supreme, superb, bad shape or anything like that. I just, guys, I got in this because literally I went home, or not home, I was on a truck and kept trying to wake up and get up out of the bunk and man, my back was hurting. and. I thought I needed a new mattress there. I thought I needed a new mattress at home because I got out of bed there. My back was hurting. Hard for me to walk. My legs are hurting and everything. And a friend of mine, uh, Richard Rice, told me, he said, no, doc, you, you just need to start exercising. You know, you're weighing in at 280 something pounds and everything, you know, and and even though I've been on diets before, I wasn't really exercising. So he said, you know, you need, to, you need to start taking care of yourself. So that's what I started doing. I started exercising and everything. But when I first got in the gym, a lot of us, go back in there, you'll try to go ahead, hit the weights, you know, try to do some pit push max out on your bench press and max out on your preacher curls and max out on your tricep workouts with the cable machines and try to do squats and all that. Guys, if you have not been working out a while and you are considered obese, or in my case, severely obese, uh, I was almost morbidly obese according to the statistics. Of course, don't always pay attention to all that stuff and everything, but if you're considering any of those things, don't run in here and jump on a treadmill and think you're going to run 30 minutes. Not going to happen. You know, and all you're going to do is dis discourage yourself and everything else. You try to get out there, try to do bench presses. You go, you may be able to do more. Right? Well, you go home the next day, you can't move. It takes two or three days for you to get back in the gym. Don't do that to yourself. So what you need to do is go into the gym, start working out slowly, start doing light weights. I would actually suggest starting off with the Nautilus equipment and the Nautilus type equipment before you go into any kind of free weight training or PF uh, 360 or any of that kind of stuff. Don't jump out, jump out there going gung-ho and everything because all you're gonna do is depress yourself, start hurting, you're gonna find excuses not to go to the gym, things like that. Go in, start off lightweight, start off on the Nautilus equipment. Uh, just get your body used to making the movements again, used to moving and, and, and stretching your muscles back out so you can do all the exercise and everything. The first week I did the Nautilus equipment it was just to get loosened up. I mean, I was doing all different body parts each day arms one day, chest one day, legs one day, abs one day, back. Uh, back is actually, I didn't think I did with my abs. You know what I'm saying? I did, uh, I run every day on the, well, okay, I did start off on the treadmill. Uh, that's because I thought I could, and I did pretty well. I, I was doing like, uh, I think the first day I did like uh, 30 minutes. Second day, I wasn't able to do, or do that as much because my legs were hurting and everything. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have probably done that long on the first day. So I cut the second day down to about 15 minutes on the treadmill, 15 minutes on the elliptical. Third and fourth day, I think I was straight elliptical uh, just because I, I, my knees and everything, my feet were hurting because I wasn't used to running and I tried to jump on that treadmill too quick. After a couple of days on the, the elliptical, I took the weekend off and came back and, and hit the uh, treadmill again and built myself up to where I would do 45 minutes on the treadmill. Now my problem is I get bored with doing the treadmill. Oh my God, bored. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll hop on uh, cardio. Sometimes I get on a stationary bike and ride it for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, whatever, then jump on a, a, a treadmill for 30 minutes. Or sometimes I'll go hit the elliptical for 15 minutes first, then do the bike for 30 minutes or 30, 15 minutes, then do the treadmill for 15 to 30 minutes. I'll mix it up. Uh, some Planet Fitness Centers have a roll machine. If they got that, I'll even throw that in there, you know, to do that as, as a, as a mix up on my cardio sometimes i just sit home and do like straight up jumps and uh um, squat thrust and, and exercises like that in order to get my cardio up it doesn't always have to be in the gym uh for instance today i thought i was going to be stuck in a hotel room giving a workout which if i ever am i'll, I'll show you that workout too i just had to be a mile and a half from this plant fitness by the way i'm in plant fitness memphis 
literally, literally a half a mile from uh, uh, Graceland. So tomorrow we'll be going to Graceland and, and doing the tour there and everything. And I might do a video on that if they let me. Sometimes I do, sometimes they don't at those places. But uh, yeah, that's where I'll be going tomorrow, it'll be Graceland. And, uh, but today I'm gonna go through here, show y'all some equipment. Stair Steppers is another great machine that a lot of plant fitness, some haven't, some don't. So, you know, you gotta go in there and see which each one has. But all of them have about at least three pieces of different cardio equipment. And uh, so I suggest, you know, do that. If you are too, if you, if you aren't even in the shape to do the things I'm talking about, they got the sit down bicycles and everything. You can stationary bikes you can do and get on there and start. But if you can't do 15 minutes on a stationary bike, get into a Planet Fitness today and sign up. You're, born, you're, you're, you're on the verge of dying. And I'm not joking, you're on the verge of dying if you get out there 15 minutes on a, 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 a stationary bicycle. So get into Planet Fitness today and start moving your body. Not a whole lot if you're in that bad of shape. But anyway, you need to start doing something. Uh, today I'm just gonna show y'all how I started out when I was with it. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm probably gonna do uh, a a full body workout today but i won't put all that on here today i'll put arms on here uh tomorrow i'll put uh legs um the, the maybe the day after that i will put um back and abs and then one day i'll put back on there it, i'll just but i am going to do all the exercise today on all the nautilus equipment uh just to show y'all uh what i did in the beginning and, and how to use these and start off on light weights guys when you're starting off on this nautilus equipment you want to do four a sets of 12 reps if you could do any more than 12 reps after the fourth set then you need to bump your weight up you don't have enough weight on there if you can do if you get to the end of your fourth and you're pushing up 13 times then you need to bump the weight up uh, your first couple few days is probably going to be figuring out where your weight needs to be but anyway uh that that's what i'm going to do that i want to do i want to do the whole circuit training but i'm only going to put on here arms today Tomorrow, I'll, I may post from today's video something else. Now, I will be coming to the gym tomorrow, but I'll be going back to the free weights and everything that I'm supposed to be working on. This one, I'm probably going to max out on all the dollars to put it just to kind of give you guys an idea what you should be doing for your first three to four weeks. And that's that's how long you should be doing it. If you're, if you're in that bad shape and you haven't been working out a while, then guys, you need to go into the gym and work out on the dollars to put for at least three or four weeks before you even think about moving over to the free weights or the PF360 or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I know they have this little 30 minute complete body workout and everything. I have tried it, to be honest with you, it didn't really, no, it wasn't, it wasn't even worth my 30 minutes. If you want to come in and do that, go ahead and commit to the time of an hour and get a full body workout. And then that, that does not include your cardio. Remember, 30 minutes, now when you're first starting out, if you can't do 30 minutes, don't do 30 minutes. Do 10 minutes or 15 minutes, five minutes, whatever you have to do, just walk, whatever. You know, build up your cardio so that you can get in here. It's going to take time to lose this weight and everything and get back in shape. And it took us, a, you're not going to do it overnight. It didn't take you overnight to get in this kind of physical condition. It's not going to leave you overnight either. It's going to take a while. But I would like to say this. I hear a lot of people always tell me, you know, whatever I'm talking to them is, uh, well, I have a medical condition and I have this problem and I have that problem. And look, I get it. There, there are legitimate medical concerns as to why you're not losing weight. But... I'm going to be honest with you. I ran a gym in Durant, Oklahoma for over five years. I've trained uh, martial arts students. I've trained two world champions. I've, I, and, and mostly what I see when I see people in the fitness center saying that they have uh, physical or medical conditions, either one, your doctor is lying to most of them so he can get a kickback or whatever he does on, on, on pushing these prescription drugs, or number two, you're lying to yourself. If you're lying to yourself, don't even make up an excuse to me. I'm not asking you for an excuse. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you what you can do. But uh, if I see, if someone tells me, and I've had a lot of people tell me this, oh, I can't do that because I have a medical condition. And they say, I know, I look at over there and they're holding a 20 ounce Coke, a donut, and got a hot dog on the, on the thing with a large order of fries and uh, just ordered some onion rings because she forgot to order them earlier. And then, you know, you, you don't have a medical condition. If you're doing stuff like that, you have a discipline condition. And a lot of Americans have that and just don't, and they don't want to admit that out loud. But don't think that people, you're fooling anybody. If you're telling people you have a medical condition, they're watching, you're, you're over there uh, smoking down two packs of cigarettes and drinking a, a 12 pack of Coke a day, and you're eating at McDonald's, there. you're not fooling anybody. Everyone may look at you and go, oh, poor thing, but in the back of their mind, they're going, uh, yeah, right, medical condition. The only medical condition you guys you keep, keep lifting those burgers all the way to your face because of fat in your arms is blocking it from getting there. Guys, don't lie to yourself. 
anyway, so, uh, and I'm going to talk more about that in some other videos too. I know that a lot of people think I'm rough and everything. Look, if you want one of those good, make you feel good people talking to you, go do those. You, you need to go listen to those type of videos and everything. I'm not that type of person. I keep it real with you. Uh, I keep it 100% real with myself. You know, I don't blame anyone for me starting to stop a diet except myself. I don't blame anyone for me uh, being in the shape that I'm in except myself. And I'm not going to sit here and butter your butt because you feel like uh, someone should talk nice to you because or quit fat shaming you. I, I'm fat. I don't call it overweight. I'm not overweight. Well, I am, but I'm way overweight. I'm not big boned. I don't have a thyroid problem. I'm a fat ass because I was lazy and I got this way. But I know what the reason was, which is why I'm in the process of trying to lose it now. And I have to correct my diet and everything along with that. Which, I'll be honest with you, the first three or four weeks of this, all I was doing was trying to get my body moving again, and I did not do anything about my diet, really. My diet pretty much remained the same. So, as of this week, fifth week, I'm starting to, to now I'm going to start moving to a better eating habits and everything. I'm going to do this incrementally so I don't give my whole body a shock and then end up falling off of this principles. But that's all I want to tell you guys about and everything. So, uh, quit making excuses, get in the gym, work out, uh, start off slow start off lightweight for the first at least the first week uh don't worry about if you could do more than uh 12 reps after four sets or anything the first week is just getting your body loosened back up and used to doing the movements and everything your second and third week will start you can start increasing your weight on your novice equipment and then uh most of us i would suggest doing four weeks i stopped at three weeks and moved over to three weeks no that's not right no that's not correct i did do four 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 weeks of novice before i moved to the free weights I just did that last week. No, I did three weeks. Then moved over last week to, to, to uh, free weights. So I did three weeks of novice. Just to get my body used to moving. And I got to where really the novice equipment really wasn't even uh, giving me anything. I wasn't feeling it the next day or anything. I mean, not no muscle tightness or anything. So really, I just I, I could tell when I'm grooving. Whenever I'm doing so many reps, it's not doing anything. And no matter how much weight I add to it, the, the most of it just wasn't doing it. So I moved over to free weights. Anyway, guys, uh, that's my suggestion. Uh, and as far as starting to work out and everything and uh i'm gonna go over here and start showing all this video real quick and uh we're gonna see uh how we do it and i'll show you how to look at the equipment i wish by the way guys when you're using all this equipment you're looking at those weight plates the weight on those plates is not in pounds they're called units so what uh, equals to 140 pounds on, on that, on the Nautilus equipment, is not 140 pounds on free weights. It could be more, it could be less, it's in units. So don't think if you're walking in here and all of a sudden, wow, I'm bench pressing 200 pounds or something. No, that's not what, and so you go, wow, I'm only bench pressing 30 pounds. No, you're bench pressing either more or less. I mean, you know, I, you, you, that that's that's just unit measurement. That is not a, a pound measurement. But anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, one of the first things you need to notice about before you start working on all this equipment is it is designed specifically to target certain parts of the body, just like free weights are. However, these machines are designed so precisely that it is hard not to use them and not hit the specific target weight or target area muscle group. So for instance, this Preacher Curl machine, it's built so that this pad right here is at the perfect angle if you got the seat adjusted correctly up and down and the bars so there's no way to cheat like how you would do could do on a free weight where you're using dumbbells and go down and kind of bounce back up or you go down and, and kind of use your body weight to push it up and everything it's really a lot harder to do that on the novice equipment now if you notice on the novice equipment you also have this part right here this picture right here shows you the target groups that this machine is meant to target and it is only going to hit those target groups. Now you move over to different machines. Here's another one, it's made for biceps. This is a different type of, now here's another one made for a different type of curl. This is the uh, bicep curl. It goes all the way down and all the way up. Again, the biceps. But now this, the difference between this one and the other one is this one has a longer, elongated through these muscle groups than the other one does. Now, it shows a picture of a bicep on both of them, but you'll feel it when you're using this other machine. Then you have this one, the chest press. Notice which groups it holds. It says chest press, but it uses the biceps, deltoids, 
chest on both sides. Specifically designed. Specifically designed for you to put your head against the headrest. So you may have to adjust the seat up and down. With your head and back and everything against there, you're not using your body weight to kind of help push the weight up. As you move over to the other ones, you'll see some machines, for instance, this one, in one direction, it's made for the pecs, pectoral flies, the chest area, and the other one, it's made for the real death weight. I'll show you how to set that up real quick. See these up here? Pulling this down, and pushing the handles all the way back towards the machine, is going to allow you to exercise the rear deltoids because you're pulling these back using your back muscles instead of pushing them forward using your pectoral muscles. In order to switch the pectoral, lower this down, switch all the way back around to the front. And you don't really have to go all the way back around to the front, depending on how flexible you are and everything, you may want to pull it from further back. So it'll be kind of behind you, giving you a wider range. But if you want to go even with you, it up even and then number five is really just a little bit in front of where you'll be sitting as you can see if i get a 90 degree angle on this so as you're pushing these weights up that will be the pec so one machine multi-purpose use calf raises this machine calves so if you're walking on the treadmill and everything your calves are hurting you can't they're not strong enough to keep you walking very long but you have plenty of air and your cardio is feeling okay or your vascular is okay then it may be that you need to strengthen your calf muscles. So this, you'll get on here, you put your toes against here and just straighten your toes down and back up and down and back up. And that's gonna target your calf muscles right here. And it's also gonna teach you how to sit and hold your arms and everything for the proper movements of these machines. This one, the seated leg curl. Basically you sit on here, your legs go up over this pad, below that pad. And this is adjustable. If it's not comfortable, raise this one up. If this one's not comfortable and you need to go smaller, you have the adjustment to do that also. Hit this button right here, and you can pull it for smaller legs, shorter legs, or longer. See the leg curls? Oh, that was one we just did. Leg extensions. Just right opposite the seated curl. Sit down here, put your legs under, and extend upward. Getting at different settings to bring it in further, close to you or out. That brings that one in and out. So if you're longer, if you're taller, go that way. Shorter, move it that way. And the machine shows you which ones you use. 12 to 14 sets. If you could do, I'm sorry, four sets of 12. If you complete all four sets of 12, next time you come in, bump up your weight. You're not using enough weight. Lateral pull down. This machine should be self-explanatory. Sit down here, put your knees under the pad. The seat is adjustable reach up grab the handles some people are shorter than others and they actually have to stand up and grab the handles and then pull it down to sit down that's quite all right this machine what i like about it is it is you can use one arm or both arms at the same time that's the muscles that we target right there in your lower back biceps and triceps also a little bit but not as much as the lower back is supposed to be Guys, it helps to think about the muscle groups you're working with when you're using these machines because thinking about them makes you concentrate on using them instead of pushing the weight out to use a different one. Row machine. Everyone okay, should know what this one is. Sit down here, chest facing this pad. Adjust the seat correctly so the pads on your chest is just a way too short right now. You adjust the seat by reaching in here, up and down, and we're down some. Reach in here. Grab these. Again, you can use one at a time, or you can reach up and grab both of them and pull them both back at the same time. The muscles, we're doing that's pretty much an all over back. Well, this is a great machine for the back. Uh, use your biceps to some degree, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't feel it that much in my biceps. Again, think about the muscles you're using. Look at the picture. Think about the muscles you're using while you're using the equipment. It helps. Tricep press. Sit down in the seat. Put your hands on here and push down. Tricep press. That's gonna be uh, your triceps and your uh, deltoids. Torso rotation. I'll be honest with you guys, don't, I don't use this machine because I've tried it several times, get no feeling or nothing out of it. So to me, it's kind of useless. But if you're just starting out, you want to get your muscles used to rotating, that might be a good one to do. You can sit down there with your knees on here, facing forward, grab the handles, twist back and forth. Tricep extensions. Triceps. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit down here. This is pretty much direct opposite of the preacher curl machine I showed you earlier. Sit down here, put your elbows on that pad, make sure that they're even, coming straight up when it's all the way down. See how that the picture shows straight up to your body, square to your body, your elbows will be. Grab hold of the handles and push them down forward. So I'll try to show you the best way I can here. Grabbing up here and pushing down. Now I see some people using both hands at once, some people use one hand. Either way it goes, same exercise. This one is abdominal. This one to me is better than the torso twist. However, not as good as sit-ups or crunches or things like that. But for a beginner, great way to get started. Sit down, grab the handles, your back is against this pad here, your elbows or your back of your arms, your triceps will be against those pads. Grab those handles and you'll pull them forward. And you see the muscles it works. And again, shows you how to use the machine. Now these are great for beginning workout, guys, when you first hit the gym. Back extensions. Sit down on this one. You put your back against this pad as you're sitting down and you push the pad back. Let lift the weights. See the picture there? For so the glutes and lower back. This machine helped me out more than any of them on getting rid of my lower back pain from getting out of bed and everything. This one helped me out more than the rest of them. So yeah, I do like it. It's very easy to use. It's not made for a lot of resistance or it doesn't feel like it is no matter how much weight I stack on here. It's just not a whole lot of resistance for me. I probably have to go into like a, uh, a rolling top more machine or I'll show you. If they have the other machine here, I'll show you the one I really use for my back now. This is like the military press or shoulder press. You sit down here, push the weight straight up and back down. Shoulders and triceps. And then for the legs, you move over to a leg press machine. Let's see the leg press here. I'll put it beside you, use it. That's pretty much the equipment I use, or I think you should use. Oh, they did have a rowing machine here. So I'm gonna have to jump on that for about 15 minutes before I leave. I'm dying to try one of those. I have not used one yet at a Planet Fitness. So I'm gonna use one of those. But guys, another, uh, like I said, this is the 30 minute workout station here. To me, it's not really that effective. You just wanna be in there 30 minutes to do the machines one time. I haven't really got a lot out of them trying it that way. Uh, let me see here. This one to me, this one to me is better for the lower back and your back uh, using this. You put your feet back here, calves under those two pads. Uh, pelvic area against that one, lean forward and back up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I usually use a weight on that, probably about a 25 to 45 pound weight doing those. And that helps my back out a whole lot. Now there are other Machines, once you get used to your back and your back doesn't hurt, you can use that one. You can you, you do other types of sit machines and everything over here. Um, this one to me is a joke again. I've tried to use it. It's called the Ab Coaster. Didn't really get anything out of it myself, but you guys might. This one is a good one. I don't know what that is. 
back against there, legs hanging down, elbows or uh, arms on those pads. The lower flat arms, grab hold with both hands and start lifting your legs up. That's a great machine right there to use. This is a good ab machine to use. You sit down in this one, using your arms straight, like the picture shows, and then just lean forward, leaving your arms straight. Uh, don't don't bend your arms, don't let your arms, they keep doing, I do about, on these, I do about uh, four sets of about 30, 35, even when I was starting out, uh, just because I didn't feel a lot of resistance. For, when you get up into the 25, 30 range, you start feeling resistance and it starts burning. So anyway, like, that's that one. So guys, that's pretty much all the Nautilus equipment. So that's pretty much all the Nautilus equipment they have at the Planet Fitness. Some Planet Fitness may have other machines, uh, a couple of other different machines, but really all of them have these equipment I showed you today, except for the uh, rolling machine. I was actually kind of surprised to see that one here. That's not a too many of them, but I am going to use that one here in a few minutes. But anyway, that's the way to kind of get started. Again, do your Nautilus equipment. Uh, four sets of 12, you four sets of 12 next time you come in, boost up the weight until you can only get, get to your fourth set, you're only doing about eight to 10 and you can't push anymore. At that point, you're doing the right weight until you get back up to four sets of 12. After about three to four weeks, you'll be ready to graduate over to the freeway system. If you want to stay on the Nautilus, you can. It is a more precise way of working out. It targets the, uh, the particular muscle groups and it makes it very hard to mess up because of the way the machine is designed. However, I like the uh, free weights. You gotta use better coordination and everything with them, but it straightens up to me a lot better. I, that may just be my own bias against it, but I think free weights is, is a lot better strengthening for kind of strength uh, training. And the cables and everything, I'll show you also that the other workouts, but I just wanted to show you, that was what I first started doing when I came to uh, Planet Fitness is about a month ago as I started working on a Nautilus equipment, or a month and a half ago, uh, five weeks ago. I started working on Nautilus equipment for about the first three and a half weeks, and then moved three weeks, three and a half weeks, moved over to the uh, free weight and the cable machines, and that's pretty much, uh, I did arms one day, I did back one day the first week, shoulders one day the first week, just to get my body used to moving again. The next week I started tagging them up, or teaming them up, I used to do uh, arms and shoulders one day, then I do back and abs one day, uh, legs one day, and uh, start repeating it. And each day, I go to the gym every day, five days a week, sometimes six days a week, if I'm anywhere near the gym. If not, then I'll have to get out there and start doing that other kind of training, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, all that. But I've got to start doing all that kind of stuff. I do five to six days a week. Um, another machine you all want to look at is a stair stepper. I would not suggest stepping on a stair stepper or a treadmill until after you build up your cardio to where you're on a stationary bike. You do 30, 35 minutes on a stationary bike. Uh, and, and about 200 calories and do about 9 to 10 miles in that 30 minutes. Once you do that, then you can move up to a, a uh, treadmill or something like that. And a lot of you guys say, well, I just need to go walk because I'm going to start a treadmill. If you need to walk and because something's hurting, like your legs and muscles are hurting or something, your hips are hurting or something, start off with a stationary sitting bicycle first. Build up your strength on there, build up your endurance, move to the regular bicycle, build up your endurance. Don't even start walking a half mile to a mile on treadmill to build up your endurance on those two bike machines. Uh, then that can, you can move over to the treadmill. After you're doing about an hour on the treadmill and you can do about four to five miles or you're running about 500 calories in an hour, then you can start working, moving your way up into the uh, Stairmaster. That's my advice. Um, yeah, let's go from there. But anyway, that's, yeah, that's why I did my first couple of weeks, three weeks was novice equipment. And I did use a treadmill. Wish I wouldn't have, wish I would start out with a stationary bike first, but I did use treadmill and the elliptical machines, treadmills back and forth between those. And uh, now just to get out of the boredom, I'm going to the stationary bike, the, 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 the right one, the, the right up one, because uh, so I just get bored on the treadmill and everything. So I'll do an hour, 30 minutes on the stationary, then do like, 15 minutes on either the treadmill or the stairmaster or something or a elliptical or something just to kind of break up the routine because running on a treadmill to me is as boring as hell but i do it anyway so i'm gonna get on over here and get on this morning shit i've been wanting to do and then uh i'm gonna hit my free weight training talk to y'all later